type 1 immediate hypersensitivity reaction, commonly known as atopic allergy, is the most prevalent form of hypersensitivity reaction. It manifests as an individual's rapid and excessive immune response to normally harmless antigens known as allergens that most people tolerate without issue. Common signs and symptoms include itching, sneezing, wheezing, and hives that in severe cases cause anaphylaxis. This type 1 immediate hypersensitivity reaction occurs when the immune system, upon initial exposure to an allergen, sensitizes and produces IgE antibodies. Subsequent exposure to the allergen leads to these antibodies binding to mast cells and basophils, releasing histamines and other inflammatory mediators that cause allergic symptoms. Risk factors for developing this condition include genetic predisposition and exposure to an individual's specific allergens such as pollen, dust mites, pet dander, certain foods, and insect venom. Diagnostic tests for identifying this type of hypersensitivity often involve skin prick allergen testing or blood tests to detect the presence of allergen-specific IgE antibodies. These tests help determine which substances are triggering an individual's allergic response. Common medications prescribed for managing symptoms include antihistamines and corticosteroids. Antihistamines alleviate itching, sneezing, and hives by blocking histamine action and corticosteroids are used to reduce inflammation. Anaphylaxis, a severe form of type 1 hypersensitivity, requires immediate treatment starting with epinephrine to combat systemic symptoms, followed by antihistamines and corticosteroids to manage inflammation and allergic symptoms. In some cases, beta-adrenergic agonists are administered to alleviate bronchoconstriction. Oxygen supplementation and intravenous fluids may be required to maintain adequate oxygenation and blood pressure. Priority nursing interventions focus on rapid identification and management of symptoms, especially in anaphylactic reactions that can rapidly progress to life-threatening conditions if not treated promptly. This includes assessing respiratory function, stabilizing the airway, monitoring vital signs, and administering prescribed medications. Health teaching is crucial, with nurses informing patients about allergen avoidance, recognizing early signs of hypersensitivity reactions, and the correct use of epinephrine auto-injectors. The overall goals when evaluating the effectiveness of nursing interventions include stabilization of the patient's condition, preventing further exposure to known allergens, and avoiding potential triggers.